Time now for Don Spotlight. Tawab's a, a player that's always going to stand out because of his physical presence. Tawab is sizes. It's not uh, something regular for not just college soccer, for soccer in, in general. When you look at a player like him, he's so imposing. You know, his ability to hold up the ball, uh, his ability to make plays, his ability to finish. It's good to have that guy that can take that kind of physicality, can cope with it, um, play off of it. He's just a big kid, you know, the guy's 6'4", he's over 200 pounds, and, um, you know, for how intimidating he is, he's a really soft, soft soul. I was born in Lagos, Nigeria, and the country on paper is very rich in resources. The richest person in Africa is from Nigeria. There's a lot of wealthy people, but also there is a lot of poverty. Family means a lot, especially in my culture. I only got to live with my dad till I was six. My dad left for America 2003 and I didn't see him again until 2008. When he was living in Nigeria, he had a good job. He was like manager of a bank, but then decided to like take the risk and come to America, start all over again. Got his master's in uh, nurse practitioner, now another master's in psychiatric nurse practitioner. Try to pave the way for us the best he could. Try to be generous as much as possible. My oldest brother left 2008. Then my dad came back and called me and my brother like, very soon you guys are gonna come and join me in America to get better education. It was like one of the most happiest days of my life because I, I could go stay with my brothers again and be with my dad. When I moved to Texas, it was really, really, <laughs> it was really hard. It was one of the most difficult transitions I've ever faced. I started from seventh grade and like kids are mean, like make fun of you. Like back then I had a more thick accent. So they'll make fun of me, they call me names, all of that, like go back to Africa. When I tell people like, oh, I'm a Muslim, a lot of people judge me differently. When I was in Nigeria, I went to Arabic school four or five times a week. We always pray five times a day. With the Muslim faith, we're very strict about eating pork, like not drinking, smoking. In the Quran, it says like just always believe God would never abandon you, God would never put you through more than you can handle. And sometimes it's hard, but I just call my dad. He always tells me the same phrase every time, like remember where you're from, which is Nigeria. Always remember your culture. Always stick with your faith. He's very disciplined in regards to his, his religion. He takes it seriously, you know. We have a really good understanding of what he needs and what he wants, we respect it. With Tawab's faith, being Muslim, they can't eat pork. When I plan a team meal, I always make sure that I'm looking out for not only him, but he has some other athletes on the team that are religious and have their own religious beliefs. If I don't have an alternate for him, if I don't have chicken or fish or beef, he can't eat that, which means he's not properly fueled, which means he probably won't play that well. It's important to keep in mind because you can't just cast that off as, well, you know, just eat it. We're all eating it. I'm not going to make one separate plate just for you. No, absolutely. I will make one separate plate just for him because it's important to them and it's something that they have practiced their entire lives. Although he is not in like a Muslim environment, he didn't give up on like his faith and I think it gives him a drive to move on. You know, this is kind of one of the first times he's been away from home. You know, his father's a, a very strict and disciplined man who demands a lot from him, especially in the classroom. He's very studious, makes sure he gets his work done. He's very focused on keeping good grades up, and he does. I think he has some of the better grades on the team. Although his father is in Houston, he communicates a lot with him and, and, and notifies him how he's doing here in school. Although he's doing extremely well here in the classroom, I tried to open the window for him to see that the potential with soccer is also there. Last year, he really showed a level that we haven't seen before. 
He really imposed himself on, on his opponents. He took over the game, and you know, if we can get him to be a little bit more consistent like that on the field, um, I think not only is he going to leave here with the degree, but he can leave here with the opportunity of playing at the next level. That's like every kid's dream with the coaching we have and like what they want me to do and stuff and the opportunity I have. That would be amazing to play pro and like represent Nigeria. I know a lot of people that would do anything to be in the position I'm in. Like even just not playing soccer, just being in America, getting a better opportunity to get a better life. You can see that um, aspect of being grateful I mean, everything he does. I think you can see that um, he understands what his family's done for him and that this is kind of his chance to give back to that story, to add to that story.